Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. We all have them, dull old t-shirts hanging in the back of the closet that we need to either donate or throw away. Why not replace them with new vibrant graphic tees from Into the AM, the sponsor of today's video. Into the AM has some of the most amazing graphic tees I've ever seen. I receive compliments on them whenever I go out. They really stand out with their vibrant and expressive designs. My closet was overloaded with old tees that had cracked and faded over the years. I am replacing many of those tees with graphic tees from Into the AM. If graphic tees aren't your thing, Into the AM also has some of the cleanest basic tees to perfectly complement your wardrobe. They support their products with a 30-day money-back guarantee, hassle-free returns, and lightning-fast shipping. Now has never been a better time to freshen up your wardrobe with awesome new tees from Into the AM. A big thanks to Into the AM for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Alex, Paladin Kenrith, the Return King. This is an evolution deck that looks to make infinite mana with Dockside or close the game with Thassa's Oracle. Alex's opening hand contains a Deflecting Swat, Jeweled Lotus, Vampiric Tutor, Mana Confluence, Cabal Ritual, Gamble, and his London Mulligan is a Grim Monolith. Next, we have TK, piloting the partner pair of Dargo the Shipwrecker and Thrasios Triton Hero. This is a mid-range deck that uses Thrasios as a value engine while utilizing Dargo for explosive plays. TK's opening hand contains a Mana Crypt, Breeding Pool, Brain Freeze, Dockside Extortionist, Wooded Foothills, Island, and a Court of Calling. Next, we have Emma, Paladin Sithis, Harvest Hand. This is an Enchantress deck that uses Sithis for card advantage and looks for ways to close out the game. Emma's opening hand contains a Utopia Sprawl, Verdant Catacombs, Flickering Ward, Spirit Mantle, Overgrown Farmland, and her London Mulligans are Overgrowth and Hyena Umbra. Finally, we have Alana, Paladin the partner pair of Rograk, Son of Roga, and Silas Wren, Seeker Adept. This is a turbo deck that looks to cast Ad Nauseam or a game ending sequence as quickly as possible. Alana's opening hand contains a Thassa's Oracle, Praetor's Grasp, Talisman of Indulgence, Scalding Tarn, Chain of Vapor, Calling the Weak, and a Spring Leap Drum. Without further ado, let's kick off this murderous masquerade of mystical magic. Alex was able to balance a card on his nose the longest and gets to start us off. Alex draws a card for turn and plays a Mana Confluence. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He passes. TK draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Stomping Ground onto the battlefield untapped, paying two life. He casts a Mana Crypt. All through, TK ships the turn to Emma. Emma draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. She cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Temple Garden onto the battlefield untapped, paying two life. She casts a Utopia Sprawl, naming White as it enters. Emma ends her turn. Alana draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. She cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. She casts her commander, Rograk, son of Rogan. She casts a Spring Leaf Drum. Alana passes. At the end of Alana's turn, Alex taps his Mana Confluence to cast a Vampiric Tutor. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. The turn moves to Alex. Alex draws and casts a Mana Crypt. He sacrifices his Jeweled Lotus to help cast his commander, Kenrith, the Return King. He then taps his Mana Confluence to cast a Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards Doxat Extortionist. Super bummed out, Alex ends his turn. During TK's upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays a Breeding Pool into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a Mystic Remora. He casts Dockside Extortionist. It enters and TK creates three treasures. He then sacrifices Dockside and his treasures to help cast his commander, Dargo the Shipwrecker. He then casts Life's Legacy, sacrificing Dargo as an additional cost. It resolves and TK draws seven cards. TK passes, discarding the hand size, notably discarding both LED and Brain Freeze. The table gets a good idea of what's in TK's hand and the turn moves to Emma. Emma draws and plays a command tower. She casts her commander, Sithis, Harvest Hand. She casts Flickering Ward, targeting Sithis. Sithis and Remora trigger, TK draws, and Emma draws a card and gains a life. Flickering Ward resolves, and Emma names Red as it enters. Emma passes. At the end of Emma's turn, Alana casts Chain of Vapor, targeting Remora. Remora triggers, and TK draws. Remora is bounced, and TK doesn't continue the chain. The turn moves to Alana. Alana draws and taps Spring Leaf Drum to help cast Culling the Weak, sacrificing Rograk as an additional cost, adding four black. She casts Ristic Study. She recasts Rograk. All through, Alana ends her turn. Alex draws and plays an Overgrown Tomb into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Cabal Ritual. Ristic triggers and Alana draws. Ritual resolves and Alex adds three black. He activates Kenrith's fifth ability, targeting Dockside in his graveyard. Dockside enters and Alex creates six treasures. He casts Demonic Consultation. Ristic triggers and Alana draws. It resolves, and Alex debates between Ad Nauseam and Phantasmal Image. He settles on Phantasmal Image. He exiles the top six cards of his library, which includes Ad Nauseam, much to Alex's relief, and then exiles cards until he finds Phantasmal Image and puts it into his hand. He casts Phantasmal Image, having it enter as a copy of Dockside. Phantasmal Extortionist enters, and Alex creates six more treasures. He moves to combat and attacks Alana with Kenrith. Alana takes it, and Alex ships the turn to TK. 
During TK's upkeep, he loses his mana control and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a training center. He casts Mystic Remora, paying for Rhystic. He then casts a Rhystic study of his own. Alana's Rhystic triggers and she draws. TK passes. At the end of TK's turn, Alex activates Kenrith's second ability targeting Phantasmal Image. Image triggers and Alex sacrifices it. He then activates Kenrith's fifth ability targeting Phantasmal Image. It enters as a copy of Dockside and Alex creates 9 treasures. Alex presents a loop of using Kenrith's second ability, targeting Phantasmal Image to sacrificing it, then using Kenrith's last ability to reanimate Image as a copy of Dockside, netting two treasures each time. He repeats this loop to create 69 million treasures. He then uses his numerous treasures to activate Kenrith's fourth ability to draw his entire deck. He casts Silence, locking out his opponents from casting spells this turn. He then uses Kenrith's fourth ability again, targeting each opponent. Each opponent draws their entire libraries, lose, and Alex wins the game. In this game, TK's opening hand contains a Mystic Remora, The One Ring, Birds of Paradise, Tropical Island, and his London Mulligans are Basalt Monolith, Mana Drain, and Noxious Revival. Emma's opening hand contains a Plains, Forest, Burgeoning, Path to Exile, Teferi's Protection, Moonblessed Cleric, and Enchantress's Presence. Alana's opening hand contains a Command Tower, Arcane Signet, Mox Amber, Ragaman Nimble Pilferer, Mana Confluence, Ad Nauseam, and The One Ring. Alex's opening hand contains Verdant Catacombs, Gemstone Caverns, Dark Ritual, Mystical Tutor, Underground Sea, Spellseeker, and a Grim Monolith and TK gets to start us off. But Alex has a pre-game action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Spellseeker. TK draws and plays a Tropical Island. He casts Birds of Paradise. He passes. Emma draws and plays a Forest. She casts Burgeoning. She passes. Alana draws and plays a Command Tower. Burgeoning triggers and Emma puts a Plains onto the battlefield. Alana casts her Commander, Rograk, Son of Rogah. She casts Mox Amber. She casts an Arcane Signet. She casts Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer. Alana passes. At the end of Alana's turn, Emma casts Pat to Exile, targeting Ragavan. Ragavan is exiled and Alana fails to find a basic land. Still in Alana's end step, Alex casts Mystical Tutor. He fetches up an Ad Nauseam onto the top of his library. The turn moves to Alex. Alex draws and plays an Underground Sea. He casts Dark Ritual, adding 3 black. He casts Grim Monolith. He casts Ad Nauseam. Ad Nause resolves and Alex reveals a Mana Crypt, Dockside Extortionist, Red Elemental Blast, Underworld Breach, Windfall, Chain of Vapor, Mindbreak Trap, Chrome Mox, Toxic Deluge, City of Brass, Savine's Reclamation, Dispel, Volcanic Island, Thassa's Oracle, Scrubland, Taiga, Vampiric Tutor, Command Tower, Grand Abolisher, Jeweled Lotus, Lotus Petal, Kin and Bonder Prodigy, Force of Will, Tundra, and a Force of Negation, deciding to stop there. He casts Lotus Petal. He casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Red Elemental Blast. He casts Mana Crypt. He casts Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and Alex creates three treasures. He casts Kin and Bonder Prodigy. He casts Underworld Breach. He escapes Lotus Petal. He cracks Lotus Petal for two white through Kennen and then casts Grand Abolisher. He casts Jeweled Lotus. He sacrifices Lotus, adding three white. This produces an additional mana due to Kennen, and importantly, this mana is not restricted to commanders only. He then uses the one floating mana and cracks his last treasure to help cast Windfall. Everyone discards their hand and draws 16 cards. Alex casts Lion's Eye Diamond. He cracks LED, discards his hand, and adds four blue. He escapes LED again, cracks it again, this time adding four black. He escapes Tainted Pact, exiling his library except for the last two cards. He escapes Thassa's Oracle. Oracle enters, and Alex wins the game. In this game, Emma's opening hand gets into Plains, Forest, Sigarda's Aid, Ancestral Mask, Solitary Confinement, Ranger Captain of Eos, and her London Mulligan is a Soul Snare. Alana's opening hand contains a Mystic Remora, Force of Will, Wooded Foothills, Orcish Bowmasters, Mana Confluence, Grim Tutor, and a Cabal Ritual. Alex's opening hand contains a Box Diamond, Kin and Bonder Prodigy, Overgrown Tomb, Tropical Island, Tarnished Citadel, and his London Mulligans are Thassa's Oracle and Toxic Deluge. TK's opening hand contains a Mana Crypt, Flooded Strand, Dockside Extortionist, Guy's Cradle, Rhystic Study, Birds of Paradise, and a Delay. And Emma gets to start us off. Emma draws and plays a Plains. She casts Sagarda's Aid. She passes. Alana draws and plays a Mana Confluence. She taps Mana Confluence to cast Mystic Remora. She casts her commander, Rograk, son of Rogah. She ends her turn. Alex draws and plays a Tropical Island. He casts a Mox Diamond and Alana draws through Remora. Mox enters and Alex discards Tarnished Citadel. He casts Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. All through, he ships the turn to TK. TK draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Mana Crypt. Remora triggers and Alana draws. He casts Rhystic Study. Remora triggers and Alana draws again. Finished up, TK passes to Emma. Emma draws and plays a Forest. She casts Ground Seal. Remora and Rhystic trigger and TK and Alana draw. Ground Seal enters and Emma draws a card. With nothing else, she ends her turn. During Alana's upkeep, she taps her Mana Confluence to pay for her Remora. She draws and casts a Mana Crypt. Rhystic triggers and TK draws. She casts Talisman of Creativity and TK draws again. She casts Mox Amber and TK draws again. She plays a Wooded Foothills as her land for turn. She passes to Alex. Alex draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He moves to combat and attacks TK with Kennen. TK takes it and Alex ships the turn. 
During TK's upkeep, he wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts Birds of Paradise. He plays a Guy's Cradle as his land for turn. He casts a land of War Elves. Finished up, TK ends his turn. Emma draws and plays a Reliquary Tower. She casts her commander, Sithis, Harvest Hand, paying for Ristic. Emma passes. At the end of Emma's turn, Alana cracks her Wooded Foothills, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. The turn moves to Alana. During Alana's upkeep, Remora and Mana Crypt trigger. She loses their Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. With her Remora trigger still on the stack, she casts Cabal Ritual, adding 3 black. Ristic triggers and TK draws. Alana then casts Ad Nauseam. Ristic triggers and TK draws again. With no responses, Ad Nause resolves. Alana reveals an Ottawara Soaring City, Yawgmoth's Whale, Soul Ring, Underworld Breach, Deflecting Swat, Windfall, Final Fortune, Mindbreak Trap, Snap, Jessica's Whale, Red Elemental Blast, and a Time Twister, deciding to stop there. She then lets her Remora die. She draws and plays a Badlands. She casts a Soul Ring. Ristic triggers and TK draws. She casts Final Fortune. TK draws but doesn't find an answer, and Final Fortune resolves. Finished up, Alana passes the turn to herself. During her upkeep, Alana wins her Mana Crypt roll. She draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. She cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. She channels Ottawara Soaring City, bouncing Ristic back to TK's hand. Now completely uninhibited, Alana casts Jessica's Will, choosing both modes, targeting TK. She adds 12 red and exiles Demonic Tutor, Mox Opal, and Gemstone Caverns off of the top of her library. She casts Mox Opal. She casts Demonic Tutor, fetching up a card into her hand. She casts Defense Grid. She casts Underworld Breach. She escapes Orcish Bowmasters. It enters, kills Birds of Paradise, and Alana amasses one. She escapes Demonic Tutor, fetching up another card into her hand. She escapes Jessica's Will, again targeting TK. She adds 12 red and exiles Flooded Strand, Dark Ritual, and the One Ring off of the top of her library. She casts Wheel of Fortune. Everyone discards their hands and draws 7. Bowmasters triggers 21 times. Alana has Bowmasters deal 8 damage to each Alex and Emma, and then 5 damage to DK, then amasses 21. Alana escapes Wheel of Fortune. Everyone discards their hands and draws 7 again. Bowmasters triggers 21 times again. Alana has Bowmasters deal 7 damage to each of her opponents and then amasses 21. She escapes Wheel of Fortune again. Everyone discards their hands, draws 7, Bowmasters triggers 21 times, each of Alana's opponents takes 7 damage, and then she amasses 21. Alana escapes Jessica's Will, targeting TK. She adds 7 red and then exiles Ragaman, Nimble Pilfer, Necropotence, and Chain of Vapor off of the top of her library. Now, with enough mana, Alana escapes Wheel of Fortune three more times, has Bowmasters ping each of her opponents for seven each time, kills them, and Alana wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great set of games tonight. Congrats to Alex and Alana on their wins. In Game 1, Alex showed an awesome in-step line that only Kenrith can accomplish. In Game 2, Alex showed that Ad Nauseam shows once again just how powerful it can be. And in Game 3, Alana played a very spicy wheel Bowmaster line that you don't see very often. You don't typically see that line in Grixis, but it is very effective in killing your opponents. The most valuable card in tonight's games, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Ad Nauseam. This card needs no introduction or explanation. In a 40 life format, this card has so much power. It is not uncommon to draw 15 to 20 cards off of this spell. It is the basis of many decks, and tonight's game showed exactly why. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.